Hello, dear students. Welcome back to my class. I'm Dr. Indrai Nikati. And in this video, I'm going to deal with working capital problems, right? In my last video, I have told you about the theoretical aspect. What do you mean by working capital and uh, how it is ascertained? What are the concepts of working capital, gross working capital, net working capital, and about operating cycle also I have dealt with, okay? And in this video, I'm going to deal with the problem, you know, it's very simple problem how a company ascertains its working capital required amount, okay? So what is working capital is known to everybody. It is the amount required to meet the day-to-day -day expenditure, right? So on an average, how much amount of working capital is to be retained by the company? That's a question before a company, okay? So that's why the simple formula to ascertain working capital is current assets minus current liabilities, okay? So here is a problem. Let us begin with this problem. Let me go through this. Is prepare an estimate of working capital requirement from the following information of a trading concern. Okay, so here they have given you the projected annual sales that is in terms of units, one lakh units. Okay, what is the selling price? Rupees eight per unit, and the percentage of net profit on sales is twenty five percent. Okay, so they have given you sales units, selling price, and twenty five percentage is profit portion. Okay. And average credit period allowed to customers is eight weeks and average credit period allowed by suppliers is four weeks, okay? Average stock holding in terms of sales requirement is 12 weeks and allow 10% for contingencies. So this is the information provided to you. From this information, we need to ascertain working capital, okay? The required amount of working capital. How do we ascertain? current assets minus current liabilities, we will get the net working capital, okay? So here from this information, you need to ascertain, you need to find out first, what is that? What are the current assets from this? And what are the current liabilities? Then only we can take this in the statement. Uh, here we can write the current assets, then in that total current assets, we will find it out. In that, from that answer, uh, we will deduct the current liabilities, okay? So here, Sales are given, first let's move on to the sales, okay? Sales are given in terms of units. How many units are there? One lakh units are there and into, so what is the selling price? Rupees eight, okay? So E is equal to how much do we derive? It is eight lakh, okay? It is rupees eight lakh, okay? So here we can write, I will write the uh, rupees eight lakh, yeah. So here in this, what is included in this is profit portion is included. That's why we need to deduct the profit portion. Why do we deduct the profit portion from the sales is to arrive at cost of sales, okay? And to ascertain this working capital, the profit portion is ignored, okay? That's why we have to deduct the profit portion from sales and the whatever the net cost of sales is there, that is taken into consideration for ascertaining the rest of the amounts, okay? So here, less what I'm going to deduct, less, okay? So here it is, I will write a symbol, hmm? less, okay, profit. What is the profit portion? It is 25%. So 25% it is, is equal to on the sales only, 25% of rupees 8 lakh will be how much? <clears throat> it is is equal to rupees okay is two lakh. If you deduct this two lakh from this, okay, the net amount how much do we derive is this yeah. So here we will derive the cost of sales as hmm, is equal to it is rupees okay, six lakh. Clear? Okay. We derive rupees six lakh. From this 6 lakh only, the rest of the amounts are calculated. Yeah. So here we have taken 1 lakh units. This is taken into consideration 1 lakh and selling price is 8 rupees. 8 rupees is multiplied with uh, 
1 lakh units and we derived sales amount. Okay. Percentage of profit is 25%. That amount is deducted. So net cost of sales we derived here is rupees 6 lakh. Next information you know, this is average credit period allowed to customers. What does it mean? Customers, okay, the goods are sold on the credit basis to our customers. So that itself we call it as debtors, okay. So this is nothing but average credit period allowed to customers is nothing but debtors. What is the velocity or the time lag is eight weeks. Velocity is eight weeks, okay. So first let us take here, it is a statement, write the title. Statement of working capital required, okay. And here uh, we take into account the, this is, okay, here it's amount rupees, right? Amount in terms of rupees and here total rupees. Hmm? Total amount. This is something. So this said it is total, right? Okay. Yeah. So here current assets, first title is current assets. Below that, let me begin with the problem. What is the current asset? First current asset is data. Datas, okay? The velocity given here is eight weeks. How do we derive this? Simple formula it is. How we ascertain this is rupees 6 lakh. 6 lakh is cost of sales. Okay. Into what is the velocity given in the problem? 8 weeks. Okay. 8 divided by how many weeks are there in a year? 52. The answer we get here. Okay. So what is that answer? That answer we are going to write it in the outer column. That is 92,308. So it comes to 92,308. So next one, this is a first item. Okay. Below that I will write 2. Second asset is, see, read it. This is over till now. We have completed here. Next item is average credit period allowed by suppliers is four weeks. It means this is nothing but current liability, that is creditors. Okay. Creditors' velocity is four weeks. How much time is allowed by the suppliers? It is four weeks. Okay. And next one more current asset is there. After taking this, I'm, I'll move on to the credit asset value. Okay. Every stock holding in terms of sales requirement is 12 weeks. So second item is our current asset is stock. Hmm? Stock. How to ascertain the stock? Again, I will take 6 lakh hmm? into what is the velocity? See, every stock holding in terms of sales requirement is 12 weeks. Velocity is 12 weeks. So how many weeks are there in a year total divided by 52 weeks, okay? So we will derive the value of stock as rupees. I'll write here, take that, do the calculation. 6 lakh multiplied by 12 divided by 52. The answer comes to 1,38,000. 1,38,000. Okay, Right, cross verify this. Yes, students, cross verify the answer. Is it right or not? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So next, these are the two. Coming to the problem again. We have taken average credit period allowed to customers. Average credit period allowed by suppliers is not yet taken because it is a current liability. Once we club, once we make the total of current assets, then we will deduct the current liability. Okay. And the next item is average stock holdings. Just now I have calculated stock value also. And last one is allow 10% for contingencies. This comes at the end. Okay. Here current assets comes to end. Right. Now the total of these two I will write in this column. Okay. So in the here I'll make the total. It's not coming. Right. Okay, down here it's going. Yeah. 
okay right total of current assets is when we make the total of this we will derive 2 lakh 30 thousand hmm? 2 lakh 30 thousand 770 okay 770 yeah so this is the total of current assets what do i write here here i will write total and Right. The next one, I'll go to the second head that is current liabilities. Yes, so this is the current liability head. Below that, I'll begin with number one. Okay, what is that? In this problem, only one current liability is there, that is credit as okay. Credit, average credit period allowed by suppliers is four weeks. So, right here, creditors. Hmm? How to calculate creditors value now? Again, six lakh. See, this cost of sales are assumed as cost of purchases also because no any other information is provided to us except the sales value, okay? Sales units are given, selling price is given. From that only we had derived the cost of sales. After deducting the profit, we derive this cost of sales, okay? So this itself is treated as value of purchases also, okay? That's why to calculate the creditor's amount, we take 6 lakh as a base, okay? 6 lakh multiplied by velocity. What is the velocity for creditors? It is four weeks. So, how to take this? 4 divided by 52 weeks. Okay. So, what is the answer? We derive 6 lakh multiplied by 4 divided by 52. So, the answer is 46,154. Mm -hmm. So, that comes in the out column. Here, I'll take, yes, 46,154. So this itself is total current liability. That's why I write it in the outer column also. Okay. So in current asset. After that, yes, current liability. Total current liability is forty six thousand. 154. You can also calculate this. And here I will write what is that? Total current liabilities. Yes. So this is the total of current liabilities. Here total of current assets is there. This is total of current liability. Right? So now from this current asset I'm going to deduct the total current liabilities, okay? So here, what do I get is net working capital. It is called as net working capital. Okay. What is net working capital? Net working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. So here, the answer comes as 1,84,616, okay? 1,84,616, okay? 616, okay? 616, right? Yeah. Here, we have derived networking capital. How we have derived? Total current assets minus total current liabilities. This comes. This is called as net working capital. But we need to calculate the required amount of working capital. Okay. Estimate of prepare and estimate of working capital requirement. So they are asking us, the question appears here is to calculate the working capital required amount of working capital. Okay. So what is that required amount? The last item we have not taken into consideration. This is allowed 10% for contingency. Okay. So from this, this is the networking capital. But sometimes what happens is 
the company may require more than this amount. That's why they allow for contingencies. Add here what we have to do. Add how much percentage? 10 percentage contingencies. 10 percentage for So 10 percentage of this will be, this will result into, yes, it is 18,000. Okay. 18,000. Four hundred and sixty two. Four hundred and sixty two. Okay. So, 10 percentage of this amount is 18,460, 1.6 it comes. So, that's why I have made it, rounded it off to 262, okay? So, this amount should be added. Then we get here, working capital required, okay? The ultimate thing, what we are calculating here is working capital required. Whatever it is asked in the question, the same we have derived. How to ascertain this total of that? Okay, I'll I'll draw the lines at the end. Okay, after completing this, one lakh eighty four thousand six hundred and sixteen plus eighteen thousand four hundred and sixty two. So this comes to two lakh three thousand two lakh three thousand seventy eight. Okay, three thousand zero seven eight. So here our problem comes to an end. What is this? I hope all of you understood. Simple here. How to ascertain this is very simple. You know, first we have to calculate what you know. Hmm, Fantasy. So after calculating current assets, okay, then we have to calculate current liabilities, right? So after that, this is current asset total. Then we have calculated current liabilities. Again, I'll go to draw. Okay, I'll draw the lines, then you will get to know. Total of current liability I have made here. This one is done. Now again draw the line. This is total of current liability. Here we have taken. Right? After this, from current assets, current liability is deducted. This is current asset, current liability is deducted. Okay. So next we derive the networking capital. And from networking capital, what do we have to do? After ascertaining networking capital, we have to add contingencies. After adding contingencies, we derive the amount of working capital required. Okay. So here our problem comes to an end. I hope all of you understood this. And it all, you know, the, the problems differ from one to another because the type of the company, nature of the company is also different. So that's why the different current assets and the different current liabilities we do get in other problems, right? So how to derive and all, I will deal in next class. This is simple problem. Such problems will appear for how much marks? Five marks. Yeah. It's very simple. You know how many items are there? Sales are given, percentage of profit, data's value, Creditors' velocity, then stock, then allow 10% for continuity. Only this much of information provided. From this information, we have derived here the net working capital first, then working capital required. Okay. So here I will come to an end. Okay. I will stop my class. And in my next class, different companies, varieties of companies which are from the question paper, that is from the case study. Okay. Case study problems, I will stop. Thank you.